Pepper spray is a useful tool and I carry one, but it is not the end-all be-all. Hi everyone, this is John with today's active self-protection lesson out of the Cook County Jail. Here we are going to see an inmate who wants to have a fight with between 15 and 20 correctional officers. This is going to teach us important lessons about controlling the fight, especially when you have partners around, about the effects of pepper spray and the fact that they can be fought through, and about the area effect and how it affects everyone around you. The news story in the description has all kinds of information about this one. It started with a misdemeanor arrest, and now this guy's going after the officer who's in the hat with his face blurred out right here. And you can see him spray the guy right there with OC, and the guy's just not having it, and he's gonna get hold of this officer with another officer on him and take him down. You're gonna see him get sprayed another time, and watch the officer here toss his pepper spray away so that the guy doesn't get it. Look and pay attention here. This guy's angry, and there's two pretty good sized guys, and now a third guy trying to get him down, it is incredibly difficult to restrain somebody who wants to attack you and who is not interested in being restrained. Now, the fourth guy shows up, and we're going to see through the rest of this, that dude is the brute squad right there. He's Andre the Giant. But still, this guy is angry, and he wants to fight. And when somebody wants to fight you, restraining somebody and holding them down who want to fight you is not nearly as easy as many people make it out to. I, you know, I hear people say all the time, well, if he just knew some jujitsu or whatever, this would have been over. No, these guys are doing pretty well. Now, you notice there that he pepper sprayed him again, and when he pepper sprayed him with a bunch of officers in close proximity, look at what that does to everybody. Next lesson here is that when you use the OC, and OC is really good, just recognize that there's a good chance you're gonna get some on you. This is why I recommend if you're gonna carry it that you've been exposed to it so you know the results that it has. Now this guy finally cools off a little bit, but the OC spray doesn't last forever, and you can see him, he's like, I don't want any right now because it's burning the heck out of him but it's not gonna last forever. And what you gotta notice here is that if you do have to OC spray somebody, it's only gonna last a little while and you need to get out of the danger zone. Now, obviously here, these guys in a jail, they, are, you know, they have to restrain this guy, they can't get away from him. But if you're not in that kind of position, you wouldn't wanna do that. And now, friends, we got the polyester pileup. This guy's trying to hurt this officer. Again, I don't know exactly what set him off or what makes him so determined to hurt this officer, but they're gonna get him away from him. And look at how many guys it takes. And so this is why I don't recommend if you possibly can, you don't want to get in fights with somebody and you don't want to get into scuffles with them on the ground because when somebody's really determined, it's incredibly difficult to hold them down. And what we see is the OC spray is effective, but it's not effective for forever because the chief ingredient is pain and eventually that's going to not be as psychologically debilitating and he's going to want to continue to fight you. So use your OC spray, use your partners, make sure you're talking with your partners. You can see here they finally, about seven or eight of them are going to get him down. And when that time comes, boy, you got to recognize that even with the OC spray, you might get a dose yourself. And so you've got to be able to fight through that yourself. And once you've used it, you got to get out of the danger zone because he can come back and get you. And that way you cover your ass.